Dakota Sullivan has a knack for popping wheelies and for catching tragedy on tape. The Nakoto isn't showing off with the camera. He straps it to the front of his motorcycle and records his biking butt winding through the canyon roads of Los Angeles. Makoto sticks close to fellow rider Orlando Sullivan. The two are best friends who cherish their early morning rides. But as they stop for a rest, it becomes clear they would have been better off sleeping in today. Bodies are hurled in every direction, and Orlando is among the victims. Shit, shit, shit. Like a bat out of hell, a rider loses control and slams into Orlando, knocking him flat on his face and out cold. I was panicking because I didn't know if he was dead or alive. Mikado has no idea whether he captured the crash but he makes sure to take the camera with him as he checks on his pals. Shit, Orlando, Orlando went down. down. Somebody, Somebody hit, hit him. him. Or, you, you all right? right? Yeah, right. Sure. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Is that all right? Sit, sit down, down, dude. Uh-huh. Better, Better sit, sit down. down. You might, you might be, be in shock. shock. It's amazing. The other crash victims seem to be unharmed. But when Makoto gets to his best friend, it's a whole other story. Still, bud. Still anything? No, no. Yeah, okay, okay loosen, loosen it. it. Don't, don't, don't move it. it. Don't take it off. Hold, hold his head. Hold, hold his head. head. I was worried head. about taking off his helmet because I didn't know if he sustained a, a broken neck. Uh, he could be paralyzed. But as Orlando comes to, he proves otherwise, asking for his bike rather than an ambulance. Where's my bike? It's over there. It's upright. It's nothing major. Just a couple of scratches. Don't worry about it. Orlando doesn't remember getting hit. But after watching the crash on tape, he realizes why everyone was in such a panic. God was there to save me. An inch or two more, the guy could have hit me straight on, and I could have lost my legs or worse, got killed. With no helmet, I would have been a goner. Police and fire safety roll on scene and give Orlando a good once over. Orlando answers all the questions slowly. He's got a concussion. Although he's airlifted to a hospital, they release him soon after with just scratches, bruises, and a king-sized headache. To this day, I really don't think I did too much bodily damage, except for maybe losing a couple brain cells after the impact with the ground. The crash may have made this biker a little more safety conscious, but it hasn't scared him off. After all, with his luck, Orlando figures he's safer when he's riding than he is when he's stuck. I had no control of what was going to happen. I do still do my share of extreme riding on the streets, but not to the extent that I used to. I save it for the racetrack. <laughs> <laughs>